welcome back to my channel it's me doll in a box and today i'm going to be showing you guys five mini crafts before we get started i just want to say a couple things the first thing is thank you guys so much for 43 subscribers it means the world to me the second thing is a lot of these crafts can be upscaled or downscaled depending on the size of your doll my dolls are the 12 inch barbie dolls and third things a lot of these crafts don't use hot glue or anything like that most of these crafts just use scissors a glue stick and some paper the first thing i'm going to show you guys how to make are some mini doll books now a lot of the time i do use my froggy stuff printables but i know that some people might not have access to a printer so i'm going to show you guys a couple of other ways you can make them so yeah let's go on with the first craft different ways of making doll notebooks but I'm gonna show you guys how to make this one but if you're curious this is just a magazine and I found the staple and then I just cut around the staple and then you have this and as you can see the staple holds it all together but today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made this one so let's get on with what it. You will need are paper, some scissors and a glue stick. The first thing that you're gonna want to do is just cut lots of strips of your paper cut as many strips of paper as you want depending on how big or how small you want your book to be so for example with this one I didn't cut as many but for this one there's a lot more pages but I just cut three for this notebook that I'm going to make and you can make it exact by getting a ruler and marking it out but I just kind of cut any imperfections at the what end. What you do now is with each of your strips you're going to fold it accordion style. of your strips folded make sure that on the end you have two of these flaps that go out that way and in the middle you have two flaps that go down this way in the middle of each strip now what you're going to do with your glue stick you're going to unfold and you're going to do this to all three of them you're going to unfold it like this and then you're just going to glue it like that now your three strips should be looking like this and now you're just going to glue the pages back to back now it should be looking like this and you have your pages and you have your two blank flaps on the edge and now you're going to um, make or find like a colourful pattern piece of paper to be like your front cover. For this part you could just use normal paper and draw a design on but I'm going to go get some cool funky paper similar to this one. So I'm going to use this floral paper and this is just a piece of paper that I got out of this like letter um, craft kit but you could also use like wrapping paper, scrapbook paper, or if you do have a printer, you could print some funky paper off there. But I'm just gonna be using this. It's cut a strip out, but it has to be bigger than your book. Before I put this on, I actually just cleaned up the edges a bit to make it a bit more cleaner. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your book and you're just gonna put it inside and then you're just gonna fold it over. You're gonna cut off the extra and you're just going to glue that in. And obviously you are going to cut down the sides, the excess of the cover. Now you have a working book and the pages actually work inside. Okay, so now that we've made the little book, it's time to make this cute little folder. So what you're going to need to create this folder is an old Barbie fashion pack and some scissors. So what you're gonna do is at the bottom of the fashion pack, you're gonna find this section here and you're just gonna cut that out. Now it's super simple. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold it so that it makes a little folder and then that's it you're you done with this one i put a little paper clip on the front and you can also inside put like some paper or something for example this is leftover from the other one obviously you'd have to cut it and then you can put all your little pieces of paper inside so next up we're going to be making these mini pencils these pencils you'll need these skewers some scissors and some pens of any color that you like. I'm choosing gray and this pink so I can do like a rubber on the end of a pencil. But you can do like multicolor to make like crayons or something. So with your skewer, you're gonna cut it in half. And then all you're gonna do is just color it in to look like a pencil. Now you have yourself some mini pencils with some rubbers on the end. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this little chatterbox. Use the paper and some colouring pens to do the little 
colours on the front, but you don't have to do the colours, you can do whatever you want. So let's get on to making this. After you cut out your square, I'd suggest folding it into a triangle so that you can make sure that all the edges are even, so that you can move on to the next step. What you're going to do next is fold in all the edges. Now you're going to flip it over and do the same again. So now that you have your tiny square with the folded in flaps, you're just going to bend it back and forth like this until it gets pretty weak and then it's just going to fold in on itself like this and you're going to put your hand, well your fingers underneath the little insert on the first flaps and then gradually it's just going to fold in on itself and you have a little chatterbox. So, so I'm just going to do that again. So when it's folded out like this, what you're going to do is you're just going to like push down on all four corners so that they all come into the center and then you're just going to flip up all four of the flaps so then it comes into the middle. You made the basic chatter box like this one you can pretty much put any colors on the outside that you like. So the last and final thing I'm going to be showing you guys how to make is a notepad which will really so work. This is some paper and some scissors so let's get started. What you're going to do is cut lots of little strips have your four strips you're gonna lie them down like this and then put a paper clip over the edge so that it's all straight on this side and then on this side you're just gonna cut down to make sure that all the strips now are that even. you have your four even strips it's time to cut them up what you're gonna do is just hold them at the end and cut them like this now that you have your strips all even in your hand and the top bit is even you're just gonna get a glue stick and run it across the top of all the slips of paper and make sure that you get a good amount on there. All you're going to do is be patient, set it down and wait for it to dry. As you can see in the time lapse while I was waiting for the notepad to dry, I did make myself a little scene. But now let's check out the mini notepad. The cool thing about this notepad is that you can actually tear away the pages, which is pretty cool. Wait, I'm going to do one more just to show you guys. Oh, yes, that's satisfying. If you wanted to make it even more personalised, you could get like a piece of like scrapbook paper and stick that on the front. But obviously, you would glue it to there so that you could like take the front cover off. But I'm just going to leave it like this. Anyway, now. guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and click the grey bell so that you get notified every time I post. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick crafts video. And if you do make these crafts and you have Instagram, don't forget to tag me so I can see you guys' creations. So yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye!